Following up on the Amaranth uh, news from yesterday, um, we, we if you remember from yesterday's show, in yesterday's video, we talked about how uh, Amaranth was actually married to an abusive piece of shit. <clears throat> and as such, um, it was in we in, in we saw the like emotional and, and, and mental abuse both in how he had damaged their house, how she uh, was broken down, and how he like basically emo emotionally bullied and browbeat her. It was terrible. Very hard to watch as a victim of, 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 of emotional abuse myself. So, empathy is there. Uh, update. She says, I'm free and is seeking legal counsel. Uh... Streamer and content creator Caitlin Sarguzia, aka Amaranth, has recorded her first ever video since she revealed Sunday that she was in an abusive relationship with her husband. The video was to update fans on what had been happening, adding that she's happy that I'm free. I wanted to talk to you guys about the situation. Sarguzia began addressing the events of Sunday. Thank you to everybody who has been super kind and supportive. Uh, she says this is actually the first time he's ever heard himself on a recording, adding he'd been recorded during other views of call, but never agreed to previous attempts to, la to listen to himself. I think Wayne had heard himself on the call really sunk how much of an asshole he is. It's like you never even realized, idiot. She says her husband is get away getting help. As of that, as today, I have access to all my accounts and finances again, which she is seeking legal and emotional counsel. Uh, repeatedly appreciative th th uh, throughout the video of the love and support. Uh, she said, I didn't think people would give a shit, to be honest, it's kind of crazy. She's like, even here's like, damn, I fucking hate Anna, but you know what, I hope she's okay, that's so nice. She takes time to address the actions of her cameraman, who she says is now her former cameraman, explaining, uh, some people, though, seem to be, uh, Emma says that this, uh, some people seem to be, though, seem to be using the situation for personal gain and clout, which is less moving, less than the motivation of support. Uh, unfortunately, my former cameraman seems to be one of those people. Uh, he made basically made the situation more explosive than it needed to be in an attempt to create a scene over uh, during TwitchCon, and as actions have flamed the tension between Amrith and her husband, that helped lead to the events of the Sunday evening. Uh, there was also uh, one other thing that I thought was really interesting, and that's uh, just to hop over here to Twitter for a second. This was actually one of the tweets I wanted to talk about real quick. Um... During her video, she said, quote, and I wanted to have a visual representation here, I don't have to wear cleavage every day. I can wear clothes because her husband was so fucking controlling that, like, during this live stream where she came up to, like, talk to everybody, like, she was just wearing comfy clothes. And she was just talking about the fact that she felt like she could actually wear clothes that made her feel comfy. And y'all, I already know, I, I already have issue, you know, with, with men behaving this way. I cannot fucking stand grown ass men treating women this way. And it is taking all of my self-control to not devolve into a raging, cussing, Spat, calling this man a a a feat, pathetic debutante. Whatever. I'm glad she's okay. I don't ever want to see anybody deal with that type of abuse. <laughs> 